Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? It is such a beautiful day, and look at, yes, I am golfing. I got my Uncle Bill and my dad. Such a gorgeous day. We're already starting our second nine. We teed off at 7.15 in the morning. I know most of you are like, oh my gosh, you woke up at that time. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. I'm going to shoot as much as I can. Hope you're having a good one. So beautiful out here. Jeff's at it again. Easy, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Say hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Oh, man. Because we have the best dad in the whole world. What's going on? Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, my day started off a little rough. Got some bad news. But got to keep on moving. Got to keep on pushing. Because the world's not going to wait for you. It's not going to make you famous. It's not going to do anything. You are going to be the one that does that. You're the only one that knows what your dream is. And you're the only one that can make it happen. So get out there and do it. Don't sit. Don't say tomorrow. Don't say tomorrow I'll start my diet. Don't say tomorrow I'll go to the gym. Do it now. Do it tonight. Make a plan. Stick to it. And, and be happy about it, man. You'll see the results, I'm telling you in everything, in your life, in your diet, whatever it is, you will end up seeing results. I hope you guys are having a good day. I will see you in a little while. I'm doing a ton of running around right now. I got meeting after meeting. I'm dropping off a bunch of stuff. I will talk to you in a little bit. Peace. Today, today I found out that my Uncle Nick passed away. He's one of the most amazing people in the world. I'm gonna miss him dearly. We'll see you soon, Uncle Nick. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful day. I am heading into my private show right now. I'm sure it's gonna be a good one. They are always a good crowd here. Hope you guys are having a good one. I'll talk to you in a little bit. What's going on, guys? I am waiting to take the stage here. It looks like another sold out crowd. I just gotta thank you guys so much every time always the, the the support you guys give me is just unbelievable i'm actually i do a lot of these personal um I call it private shows and everything and right now <laughs> you see a lot of interesting things right now i'm sitting in it looks like a 30 person private movie theater <laughs> it's just it's nuts just nuts hope you guys are having a good one and I hope I get to see you guys at one of these shows soon. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Is that you? Mm -hmm. God. It's the... I am the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rivals. And the last note of our respect to the There you go, guys. Uh, they decided that they both wanted to wear ties like me here. <laughs> Landon's yeah, actually, yeah. Landon's tie is behind him now. I don't even know what's happening. I need more. We are uh, going into Target. And when we go to Target, you know reason why. Is why? Why do we got to go to Target? Because we got to get candy. candy. Because we're going to the movies. <laughs> we're going to go see. What are we going to go see? What's that? Captain, Captain America. We're going to go see Captain America, guys. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Yes. Civil Wars. So, 
I just have bunny ears like, oh boy. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Hey. I saw Angelina spending all her money trying to win a stuffed animal out of there. One dollar. One dollar. And then what? Then you spent two. Then I spent two, and we got that dude. So that's gonna be cool. All right. So serious while shooting things. Yeah, we thought we thought the movie was going to be like so packed, so we got here early, and now we are three of six people in a five hundred person theater waiting for the movie oh not five to mention people. or okay so we're three of five people not to mention the movie doesn't start for another about 35 minutes so we're gonna be here a little while what <laughs> yep Good morning everybody how are you doing welcome back to the vlogs I am glad to see you guys back here we are actually Lynn and I are on our way to go get my mom because I actually talked my mom and my godmother into coming to my church with us this weekend and uh, if you knew, if you knew my mom you would know that that's it's not an easy thing to do she still had to go to her church yesterday you know to make it count and everything but uh, it's gonna be really cool having them with us. First, we gotta stop at a gas station. I gotta grab a couple things. Hope you guys are having a good day, and we have a challenge for you later, and we will show you that then. Bye. Are you playing with me? Are you filming? Are you filming yet, Dad? Dad, are you filming yet? I'm not telling. <laughs> What's going on guys? So we have been delivered the eggs. It is going to be a wild one. So the rules, what we're going to be doing is there are, I don't even know how many eggs. There's like 27 eggs I think here. And nine of them are not hard boiled. And the rest are hard boiled. So we're going to take each other, stop. We're going to take, we're going to take turns picking them and smashing them on our head. The first person that smashes three eggs on their head loses, and that person will be out. And then that leaves two people. Those two people will go back and forth until one of them smashes an egg on their head. That person will be out. The winner then will get to choose who gets to smash a pie on the other person's face, and they can pick which one gets the pie smashing. So. We're going to hand the can uh, camera over and we're going to get going. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the vlogs. Okay, so, yes, we are doing the egg roulette challenge today. It sounds messy, and it is. <laughs> there is a young one behind the camera, so if you hear her or see her, deal with it. So, these kids, for some reason, just, they're so excited about smashing crap on their heads that that they are like betting or, or trying to figure out who's going to go first. They want to go first. I, it's, I don't know. So I said they can do the best out of, uh, we'll do the best out of three. Two out of three. Two best two out of three of uh, paper, rock. scissor, rock there. Rock, go ahead, paper, guys. Scissors. Oh, sorry. I got it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, there. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, so Landon gets to go first. He's going to take an egg and he's going to smash it on his head. Once again, First person that hits three eggs. So yes. So first person to three eggs. 
They're out. Then it'll leave two people, and then those people will face off till one egg is smashed. That will leave one person. That person will be our winner. And he or she will get the pick who gets a pie in the face. Doesn't that sound wonderful and disgusting? Okay, Landon, it's your turn. As soon as you pick one. Oh, you lucky dog. Lucky dog. Okay, it's going to be Gina's turn. Go ahead, Gina. Oh, okay. My turn. My turn, ready? Yes, okay, hard boiled. Got a little trash can down there for it. All right, Landon. Landon, Landon's trying to eat the eggs. Okay, you can say that one for after. Go ahead. All right, another one boiled. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, lucky!
two. All right, this is, this, I think this is gonna be the round right here. All right, Lan, Gina, let's sit down, let's do this here. This table is a wreck. It's your turn, check up. Oh yes, I know. He's gonna lose this one, I already know it. I already know you're messing Can I switch it? No. Nope. I know, I made the own rule. <laughs> Ow! I think this one's hard boiled. Oh uh, yes, hard boiled. Oh. All right, Landon, oh, Land's turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, back it up! What? I know that was just the beginning! Oh! <laughs> Landon is out! Oh, Landon. Landon is out! Oh. Alright, well, Landon, good job, sir. Nice and slimy handshake that was. <laughs> Go ahead, Gina. <laughs> Evacuate! My turn! Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Gina wins. Who's getting the pie, Gina? Uh, uh, <laughs> it is a cold pie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that just happened. Well, guys. You guys have been great. Um, yeah, it's tastes good. Talk to you guys soon. Talk to you. Oh my god. Yes. Let me get you a towel. What a beautiful day for vlogging. <laughs> or an egging. Or an egging. What is up, everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to the vlogs this week. I love seeing you guys return week after week. And thank you so much for sharing on your social media, your Facebook and your Instagrams and your Twitters. That means so much and it helps us out a lot. Landon and I love you very, very much. Um, I just wanted to end this vlog by saying uh, this week I, I lost someone very important to me. And uh, it makes me think, you know, we don't know how much time we have and we don't know what the day holds for us. So we need to live every day as if it is our last. And if there's somebody out there that you love and care about, reach out to them, send them a message, call them is even better. Go see them if you can. Okay. And if there's somebody out there that at some point did mean something to you or still means something to you, but you haven't talked to in a while, maybe you have a little, little something between each other. You don't know. You, don't wait until that person's gone or you're gone to realize that there's something that you should have said or you needed to say, okay? Reach out to them. Be the first. Be the first to reach out. I know that's not easy. I know it's not easy. I know you're waiting for that person to reach out to you, but the world's not going to wait for you, okay? Go out and do what you got to do, okay? Reach out to that person, and if it's not just reaching out to somebody... Go talk to whoever you want to talk to or need to talk to. Make this life count, okay? You don't know how long you have. And I'm not saying it in a sad or depressing way. Life is amazing. It is what you make of it. Just like I said before, it's not going to do it for you. If you want to lose weight, you got to go to the gym. You got to start the diet or the lifestyle change. If you want to be a movie star... You're the one that's got to make the context. If you want to be a music star, you got to make the context and you got to get out there. It's not going to happen just by sitting around and hope something comes around. You have to do it. You have to make it happen. There are ways to do it. There are ways to make it happen and there are people that can help you. You just got to find those people, okay? I am not going to lecture you anymore. I know I sound like a dad. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to call me your dad or something. It's happened before. I love you guys so much. You're amazing. Be happy. Live happy. And I will talk to you guys next week on the JCAV Vlogs. Bye-bye.